This morning at breakfast, I was fortunate enough to meet Angie and she has very generously adopted me for the day and is taking me to the source of the Mississippi River. Angie, would you like to say good morning to my fans, please? Good morning, fans. Good morning, New Zealanders. Good morning, people across the world. I'm so happy to have met Sandra and her husband, Barry. And I'm so happy to go to the headwaters with uh, this adventurer who is holding the camera right now. It's a lot of fun. It's a gorgeous day. And uh, it's about time to have this dream fulfilled. Thank you, Angie. Now, Angie and I are going to walk our way down to the headway of the Mississippi. So I'll just walk you down this beautiful path. The sun is shining beautifully today. The trees here are amazing. Not that I know the names of all of them, but that's a little mission for me while I'm here. I'm just walking down the pathway which leads to the source of the Mississippi River. Whoever thought that the Baz Flyer 2 would be at the source of the Mississippi River. It's quite an amazing feeling, really. And if you have a look, it's a beautiful, beautiful day and there's not a person in sight. How amazing is that? I'm just going to pan around and show you what it looks like at the source. And there are some stepping stones here, which I believe people are encouraged to walk across. Hopefully we won't be falling in there today, but never mind, clothes dry. A couple sitting on the log that's crossing the source of the river, taking selfies of themselves. How amazing is that? We have an information post over here, so we'll take the camera over and we'll have a little look and see what it says. I'm going to ask you, what does it mean for you to be standing here at the source of the Mississippi River? It means a lot to me because I grew up in Illinois near the Mississippi uh, and I've always lived near the Mississippi in Iowa and now I live in the Twin Cities in St. Paul and uh, it's just fascinating to me. We're about to walk across the Mississippi River. You can't do that anywhere else but here and uh, it's, it's flowing, Lake Itasca is the source here, right here, and um, it's, a, it's a little lake, it's something like not even two miles in diameter, and uh, so here we have it, and I'm just thrilled, I'm just very excited to think about one of the wonders of the world, and we're going to sort of conquer it right now, uh, it's just fascinating to me, and it's uh, just a lot of fun. Angie, would you like to start walking across those stepping stones in front of me? And I'll just video you just a little bit, then I'll stop and then I'll try walking across myself. As long as you promise not to catch me falling. Well, if I fall, you can catch me, but not on video. Okay, I'll catch you if you fall. And here's Angie about to walk across the Mississippi River, the only place in the entire river where you can walk across it. Right, I'm going to leave Angie to it and I'm going to follow her across the river. I'm now on the other side of the Mississippi having wobbled my way across the stepping stone. Angie is now trying to wobble her way across the stone. She started off first, but we decided we'd take our shoes off and leave them on the other side. Mm. How amazing is this? I'll just show you the lake. It's quite a small lake. It's not a huge, huge lake, but this is where the mighty Mississippi starts. Oh. 
You poor little pampered thing. Well done, Angie.